Hello. Now, there are people who are passionate about doing something. It could be an art. It could be like gaming. It could be playing soccer or golf or softball or anything. If you're passionate about doing something, then what you're going to do? You're going to make that hobby as a profession and going to start making out of that so-called hobby and you're gonna love it your life is gonna change right away and you're gonna be really satisfied and really happy about it and what you're gonna do you're gonna make sure that every hour counts every minute counts and you will be very satisfied these days getting satisfaction out of work is really rare okay now where am I going with this? There are a lot of professions which are getting paid less amount and if you take a look at the graph you will see that teachers is no exception. Teachers are getting paid way less and lesser and lesser every year past and there are no policies there are nothing there to prevent that from happening now what is gonna happen let me lay a picture for you there's a teacher who's very passionate about teaching others spreading positivity letting other know and try to help them identify themselves now if they're not getting paid enough money to barely make it, to barely bring the food on the table, and it's just not for teachers, it's just about for everybody. I'm a student, I'm a graduate, and what do I have? I have not even started making money and I have tons of loan to pay off. I go ahead and I get into an industry, let's say teaching, and how much am I going to get paid? $2,000, $3,000 a month, which is very, very exception if you're very good. Now, there are people who are actually making good amount of money as a teacher, but like I said, it's really hard these days to um, do something which is your passion. Now, if I have a mortgage or if I have a student loan to pay, it's going to take me 10 to 20 years to even pay that off. Now, how am I going to survive all those years? And let's say you're not a student, you're just a single mom and you love to teach. You love to spread positivity around. Then you, you're not alone. You have a baby to feed or maybe you have a family or you're living somewhere. You have to pay for the food. You have to pay for the rent. And just being passionate about doing something is not enough. It's not going to bring food on the table. So there has to be done. It has to be done really fast. There has to be a policy which has to set or there has to be a mandate that has to be effective immediately so we can protect our teachers. There is a shortage of teachers in Utah or in Texas or even in very big cities now why is there a shortage there is no i mean it's no brainer that they're getting less amount of money and if they're getting less amount of money and they're still being passionate about doing it then what they're doing they're sacrificing not only their blood and sweat but also they're sacrificing the future of their children because they want your children to be happy and to be successful so what kind of a dumb game that really is it doesn't make sense there has to be an equality in terms of the amount you're getting paid and the work that you do there are jobs which are way way overrated and they are making millions and millions of dollars off of it not because they don't work hard but because there has to be an equality richer rich people are getting richer Poor people are getting poorer. Why is that? Rich people don't even pay taxes. So that is pretty much it for the video. I don't want to have to take a lot of your time. And also, 
this is just going to be an eye opener for a lot of other professions to go ahead and have your eyes open. Now, teaching is a profession, but I prefer that not only teaching is going to do you any good. Open a side business, open a side gig, try to do something to not only work out just because of business, but also save saving these days is strength there are a lot of distractions all over the place but i prefer that saving is the best tool that you have under your disposal i'll catch you in the next video cheers <laughs>